Hello everyone and welcome back to the big build here in the wonderful world of Mega Aquarium. This is episode number nine, ten, I can literally kind of remember, nine or ten I believe it is. Uh, thank you very much for all the support so far on this and all the other videos. If you haven't already, make sure you drop the channel a sub. If you're enjoying yourself, like the video, comments, and all that good stuff. In today's one, uh, you can see we're already beginning to think about uh, building over here and starting our ice or cold water area of the aquarium. We're almost kind of done with the tropical side. I mean, we, we've done very well. We've got, we've got a lot of fish in here. I mean, I don't know, does it tell us exactly how many fish? I don't think it does, does it? But I reckon we've got comfortably 100 to 150 fish in this aquarium already, in these, in these areas. Um, thank you very much for the comment as well. I forget what your name is without having to look. Where's me, where's me thing? Uh, Blue R guy, you very, very thankfully have reminded me, I'll look at that in a second, uh, that we do have the ability to trade in and get ourselves, let me just do these, uh, we've got those, yeah, this was a steal, I didn't actually realise at the time, but two of these were 600, when they up to level uh, size 42 is absolutely mental. Uh, right, the Southern Stingway, look. I forgot about this. We can get ourselves three fucking great big stingrays that all go up to size 40 for having one fully grown horse eye jack. There you go. So he will go in there. I will put another horse eye jack in there. Uh, like so. so he, will, he will grow up to full size fairly soon. So now, in here, we've now got three Stingray. Uh, um, we... I need to just double check what else we've got. We've got the two catfish. So let me just look over things here. So they will eat animals up to size 16. They are quite big. Requires acidic or neutral water. They are, fr they are fresh water fish. What about these Stingray? They are not, so they can't go, in, they unfortunately cannot go into the same, the same tank. Right, he also did mention that maybe we could throw them in here. The trouble is that all of these are really, really small. Now the stingrays, I think, and this is a fresh water tank, isn't it? They can't go in there. Can you go in here? Uh, they can go up to level, four. it's 120 in size, aren't they? I think maybe we uh, we have to get rid of a few fish. We've got an awful lot of fish in here. One, two, three, two, three. What did I say we needed? We needed 120, didn't we? There we go. We can now do it. So the stingrays will go in there just because... Uh, what do we need? We need supplements. They eat sand eels and that sort of stuff. They eat crusta crustaceans are fine. They're not going to do anything. And they are quite greedy. So we can... Stick all of those in there. And I believe... They will grow up so big... going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to seeing those those bad boys. Right, we are going to do ourselves a talk on those Southern Stingrays. Uh, right, lack of supplements. Are you doing supplements? You are doing supplements right now. That is fine. Uh, have we got sand eel stuff in here to feed them with? I don't know if we do, actually. No, we do not. Let's get some... Let's get a sand eel dispenser in there. I have a feeling that somebody has probably just taken it. Yeah, someone's just taken a detour to go and get sandy was from somewhere else. So that's fine. We've got them in there now. Well, there we go. That's a nice start to the episode. We've got three new stingrays in there. Uh, no, we'll get rid of. We'll get rid of that. What was the uh, the other thing that we just? Oh god, look, all these. We'll get all these messages. I've only just. I've only just looked away. Right, this thing. 
A Shorthorn Sculpin, size 15. Eat animals up to size 6. They're a cold water job, aren't they? They're 196 each. It's going to cost me 1,400 quid to just unlock them. No, not interested. Right, so where then can we put those guys? None of these are freshwater tanks, are they? They are not. So actually, I think we need to have another tank. One for the one for the road, effectively. I don't think any of these tanks. Is that fresh water? That is a fresh water tank, though. How big are these things? Oh, they're only size five. being fed then. I was going to say they should be. Right, okay. So, back to my point. Our sting, our catfish, sorry, are not going to be able to go anywhere. So we are going to have to build another tank before, before we are, are done with this with this area, or with this biome, if you like. Now, they are big boys. They are big tanks, right? So, do we do... Do we do another walkway tank like this? And then at the end of the walkway, then they walk... Down that way... Into the next zone. That is a possibility. We could do that. What other tanks have we not used yet? We've got the deep... I mean, even the deep observer tanks, it goes up to 120. I mean, that is still... That's not going to house them, is it? I oh, know, we've got... There's only two of them, so we could we could house them in there, but... It is only two. We've got the Belfast tank there. And a bridge tank. Maybe we have a, a bridge tank. we do that we will have ourselves a bridge tank let's move this back for now I'm gonna move that along there like so and then we are gonna block off these areas You can go and see that tank there, but actually what we want you to do, we're going to make you go over this way. Might tweak how that looks, actually. Um, I'm not entirely... Not entirely sold on that. Actually, what we could do is stick you there like that a neat little way of doing that. So... Mm -mm 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 -mm. I really... Do you know what? The more I look at this, if I look at all of the other biomes, right? I mean, this looks quite cool. It's quite colourful. It's got quite a nice palette to it. This one's a little bit more plain, but it's not too bad. This one I really like. I'll be honest, this Pirate Cove one is really quite shit. A part of me, you know, is actually really tempted. To, to, to not have it at all, and when we unlock something better, like this Pacific paint here, I am very tempted. I'm not going to lie. Um, right. So the next thing we've got to try and do now, do we move some of this shit around? I can't move too much around just purely because where things are located. Okay. We 
we're gonna we're gonna just move move things around. Just this is a big tank. This is gonna require a lot of a lot of power to do this. I mean, I could. Could I be cheeky and move this stuff along, move all this stuff along and have the power and the machines in here for this one, but just have these guys responsible for the feeding? I could do that, you know. That would make life considerably easier. doesn't massively help right now let's move this out of the way if we brought this along be there wouldn't it and then we'd have to cut it off there so it's less of a it's less of like an alcove if you like which is fine Might be able to sneak some machines in the corner here, actually. Yeah, we might be able to, you know, just, just sneak it all in the corner. Such a big open area over there. Right, uh, yeah. I need to now move you, though. Uh, can, go over, can go over there. Just to, just to put some, kind of something over there. Uh, right. We have 3,000. Let us... Let's get rid of that. Yeah, you're fully grown. And a, a nice canoe. No. Um, let us put the two catfish in there. What do they eat? Roaches! Okay, that's, that's a new one. Roach dispenser. Uh, remind me, I need to make sure that Zone 4 is updated to include all of this. Right. Let us now work. Cannot be placed in freshwater tank. Let's do the pump first. I don't think the pumps ever require maintenance, do they? It's only the... If I hover over this, yeah, look, every four days, the pumps, I don't think, have any requirement for that, so I think we can get away with that. What's the problem with this? protein skimmer isn't it that's not the protein skimmer right let's do let's do that right we are going to need considerably more so we need that to go in that sorts out so also they actually need quite low water quality, which is nice because they don't need much else in there. Uh, acidic or neutral, they don't care. We just need now to just decorate. So actually, they're fairly low maintenance fish, which is kind of good. Now, do we have anything else? And we have these guys. I think these catfish are anything up to size 16. So you guys, oh no, they're armored. Has an effective size of 12. 
Take five days. They might be able to go in there, you know. Because that rating, I think, will go up. Is it doubling? Because if it doubles, they might be able to go in there. They take six days to grow, so these guys will grow bef will grow first. Ah, oh, they can't go in a fresh water tank. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, can the shrimp go in there? No, they absolutely cannot. They will. That is lambs to the slaughter if they go in there. Okay. stuff in here they need plenty of these things in here let's keep the money, keep the money rolling for now uh, let's just quickly update zone 4 oh it actually no, it covers it all anyway nice okay that's absolutely fine then we just need we will need to keep an eye just a little bit just to make absolutely sure that the fish are getting fed. There we go, that's all good. Oh, they need a three by three space. And I've got a little bit of open space over there. Right, I think they're happy. I think that's good. We probably could stick in some other bits and pieces. Uh, what else could we stick in there? Let me get another second one. Put something else in there for that one. Okay, there we go. So we've got some big catfish. These will grow up to be uh, big old boys at some point. And we, unlike the ones over here, where we only let them see from one side, on this one we will let them, we will allow them to see from both sides. That is absolutely fine. question is, is do we have enough people to make sure that everything gets done? Because there's a lot of feeding that is going on right now. The maintenance is not going ahead over here. Now these guys, the angelfish are in a, in a spot of bother here. So who is doing this? Who is supposed to be fixing the membranes? I mean, somebody must be in zone four, right? So who are we allowing? It'll be somebody that does feeding. So we've allowed you to do it. I think it needs to be the person, the, the people that do the fixing. It makes far more sense to let them do it. I'm not, I'm not quite sure why I haven't done this before. That's not what I meant. Yeah, he's already doing it. Okay, so that was, it may have just been a bit of a, an error on my part. Right, can we do that one a bit lively, please? Because these angelfish will die, and they already have. Okay, right. Well, that's uh, that's a bit of a foo bar. I think that's the is that the first fish we've lost, and we will lose more if we're not careful.
Right, they are now finally going to do it. Really shouldn't have taken as long as it did. Do need to keep an eye on it. I've got a nasty, nasty suspicion that we do actually need another member of staff in here. So how many have we got doing feeding? So one, two, three, four would be my guess. One, two, three, four, five. There's only six tanks, four people. I think we need another one just because there's just so many fish that need feeding. Yeah, you'll do. Get in here. Zone 4. And you will... All of that, you will take a stick as well. Which we will get you one. Okay, that should be okay. Maintenance-wise, I think we should be okay. The machines don't need fixing every day. There's always going to be some machines that probably need a bit of repairing, but that's fine. It doesn't seem to take too long to actually do it. Then we should have two people. Have I only got... Ah, oh, here's, the, here's the problem. I think I've only got one... Uh, tool, I've only got one tool station in here. I think I do, you know. I think that might be part of the problem. Right, that should start to sort itself out then if they've got two toolkits in there. I have a feeling that the other guy has gone somewhere else to go and get a toolkit. I have absolutely no idea where he's gone to go and get that. I mean, where is he, for example? So we got... Uh, fixing you. You're the only person that's doing... Oh, you were the only person that was doing it, I think. I think we've only got... I think we've only got one person doing fixing in there. I think it might be zoning in on the problem. Right, let's find another mechanic. Really many many options there. We'll wait we'll wait until the next day and see if we can get some better ones. They want more they want more drinks machines and stuff over here. I think they do. It's me. Insatiable appetite. So yeah, we've only got the one person doing the fixing. Now, they might actually be able to keep on top of it, to be fair. Because it looks like they've now fixed everything. And they are pretty efficient as well. If we gave them some, some trainers to run around in... We gave you some uh, some trainers to go and grab. And your life might be a bit more simple. Oh, 
Oh, our stingrays have grown to size 20. Still got a fair amount of growing to, to, uh, to do. You got your, uh, have you got your trainers on yet? I think you do. Yep, your little red trainers. So, let's have a look at our stingrays. Where did we put them? in there, aren't they? Now, all of a sudden, the water quality needs improving again. Although, saying that, that machine needs fixing. So, once that fixes itself, will we be okay? We might be able to put another protein skimmer on the corner there. So, oh no, wait, that's going to those two. That's not even going to that one, is it? Uh, actually, no, it's, we're okay. Although, are we? No, hang on, I need preparing. Which one are you doing? Right, you're doing that one quick. Let's see what happens to the quality of the water and everything. Right, we're okay. I suspect, though, when those stingray grow up, it is going to want yet more. Yeah, I mean, it already is. It wants, it wants more now. The protein scheme has dropped, that's why. And can we... Can we get yet more... That should be enough. That's, uh, yeah, I mean, look, the... Uh, Stingrays in there. There are three of them floating around. They are going to be big old boys when they're uh, when they're done. For the moment, the two catfish in here. And you've got four more days yet until they grow in size. Right. So at this point, then I think we are effectively just allowing what's that? A crab trap. I don't like the ones that have all these extra things on them that you've got to uh, you've got to do. Eastern long neck turtle has grown to size 8. That's the boys in here. There we go. One there and one there. The other thing that um, Blue Guy on YouTube stated was the uh, uh, the Arctic poppies that I can't select in here. We th there is a there is a theory that it might be because of the you know the fact that it says the word Arctic that maybe it means that it can't go in freshwater tanks, that maybe it can only go in uh, cold water tanks. It is only a theory, because there is no information there to suggest that that is the case, but it is a working theory, because it's not letting me put it in anywhere else. Um, I don't know if any of these fish here, for example, butterfly ram, the lump suck, I think they're quite big. I don't know whether any of these fish here maybe the crab whether they will be able to go in with the catfish i kind of want to put stuff other stuff in with the catfish but they're obviously they need to be big fish otherwise they're going to get eaten um so yeah i want to have to play it by ear right let's level you up with that i have a feeling alejandro actually i may have just made a mistake there is alejandro is he feeding he is i just leveled up his gift shop skill <laughs> he's meant to be a feeder right okay we need to start thinking about then what we're going to do over here let's start buying space which is all we're going to do initially is we're just going to buy out the land we are going to have i mean i really want to get to this next level because we get like the U tank, for example, and the feeding platform tank, just to just to mix things up. But I want to have, I want to go up. Do I want to go? Yeah, I want to go up. We'll have tanks kind of on this side, looking that way, and then we'll have like a middle area with all the machines and the people and stuff, and then it will come around, and then we can have tanks on the other side. That's the plan. Oh, 
we only got, by the way, I was just thinking, have we got a talker? Flashcards, Peter. Are you our talker? You are, okay. We have got someone doing talks over here. Well, everything's going pretty well at the moment. We just need to just to allow that money to ramp up a little bit. to that and we'll probably allow them to come back a little bit and then if we do do it like this that gives us a nice big area to work with come on get to 280 so I can just buy out this little bit here go and then effectively what will happen is you'll have like that. We'll have some tanks along the way. Now of course as we're going into the cold water stuff we can have these bad boys, the creasel tanks. We can also have the polar domes. We can have the abyssal tanks. There is lots going on here. Obviously, that consumes science. Um, there is a lot going on that we haven't really played around with yet, just because it didn't really make sense to do so. The other thing as well is that we could experiment with. Just for example, if we were to do, if we were to do this, I might delete this afterwards. We've not done anything with, say, the portholes. Like this, so you can have a tank that kind of looks like that. Something like that. I actually don't mind that, you know. Slight downside is it's locked to to uh, it's annoying you can't like interlock them and move it all as a unit. We could move this all back a slot, couldn't we? Right, bear with while I do this. If we move all of these back a little bit, the only slight downside. is that the rear of the tank is exposed. Now we could, in theory, cover that up and just have like a little small room that the staff go in and out of to do the feeding. that move move that one it is annoying you've got to do this piece by piece but so be it can we continue the wall down this side we can and then it's not, the only other thing as well is that i've got to remember that i've got to have the entrance to this zone is going to be over here so it actually may need to go a notch on Now, of course, the one big thing we've not really talked about yet is what we're going to do. Because we only have one cold... What's, what does sleep look like? Doesn't really look that great. Frozen paint looks... I really like the frozen paint on this, the, this, this, um, this colour scheme. I think it looks really, really cool. So 
an ideal world, what I don't want it to have is to have it just this frozen colour literally for the remainder of our aquarium. And it does look nice. Okay, let us just quickly delete that. We are going to have to move this. little tight isn't it Can we just move it on the one we have portholes both sides there like that can you do I'll just see you can have a slatted you can have a roof You can have this completely enclosed. What do we think about this, guys? I mean, this is... What do you, uh, yeah, what do, what do you, what do you make of this? I'm almost not sure how I feel. It does look kind of cool. I can't not see anything through there, is there? A... Oh, I need to move. The, I need to move more up, up one, don't I? of experimenting at this point, you know. I mean, I don't know. I do really like this idea. I really do like it. The problem is, is that we've got, we don't really have a huge amount of space. Unless I move this all. I don't want to move this back any further, particularly. We, we filter them all. We filter them all backwards here, back here a little bit. this way instead. It's annoying. Archway is... So they can't see it. And this is this is this is sort of what I had in my mind. The trouble is, is that we do get this kind of mishmash of painting styles. But we'd probably just have to do this, wouldn't we? just have literally the second you kind of step foot over this side it becomes Iceland no, 
that's not what I meant. Just do it like that, maybe. And then we, uh, yeah, we we head into the frozen wasteland over here. We can put some like bits and pieces down. We can't really put anything there because it's gonna, it's just gonna block everything, isn't it? this let's leave this alone for now I, mean, I feel like I almost should speed this long at this point because I'm experimenting so much even could be really do this and actually have this completely blocked off so actually what they have to do they have to walk down here and then they've got to come round that could be kind of cool you know like this. Look at that, that's perfect. That could work. I, th I like, I think that could work, you know. I don't mind that at all. And then we have our, we have our door here. Which allows them to go in there and, and feed. So this is sort of first completely hidden. So this is the first thing we've first time we've really done this in this entire playthrough, isn't it? Where we've experimented with like these cubby holes, a bit of a roof on, on things. I think it looks really cool. So the only thing the only slight downside is is that if we bring them down this way and along here, we actually Where are they gonna go afterwards? So they need to get down to here effectively, don't they? And then be taken along here and up and then this area here becomes our staff area with all the machines and stuff i think that's what we're going to do i think that is i think that is the direction we're going to go um okay well we've planned that out pretty nicely in the end all of these stingrays oh they're, they're fully grown let's go and take a quick look at those before we uh we finish up what have we what the fuck have we got here an oriental sweet lips Picasso Triggerfish, fully grown. And we, we, we absolutely do not have any of those, I'm afraid, to use right now. Um, well, if you think you can use it, you're welcome to it. Modern art. Check in the message. Um, okay, we'll leave that there for now. now either we'll just say build just builds up so much right i think we're we're in a good point we've got everything is getting fed everything is where we want it to be unsurprisingly we have we don't have a large nitrate reactor do we i've got to put yet more filters look at the size of those bastards oh look at those they are absolutely massive. They actually look too too big now to go into that tank. Animal welfare reasons, we should probably look to move them off and put them somewhere else. But they do look absolutely awesome. That's your thumbnail right there, isn't it? So there we go. Have the catfishes grown up at all yet? Oh, they have. What size are you? They're 23. Another three days and they will be what the freaking hell just happened there why does it keep throwing me away let's go and have a look at our catfish shall we look at those beauties and they are going to be 
almost twice the size of that when they f when they complete their growing. I've just realised we've not closed any of this off. It is not open to the public yet, good people. There we go. Right. I'm going to end the episode there. We didn't actually get as much done as I kind of wanted to. But we have at least made a plan for what we're going to do over here. A proper laid out one. We've got our first tank, which will house some stuff next time out. We've got catfish. We've got stingray in. We've had to hire some more staff. We've moved things around. We've got that new tank in there. So it's, it's, we've done a reasonable amount, but it doesn't feel like it at the same time. But anyway, um, thank you very much for watching. We're going to continue playing with this. We have got some other games coming out. Uh, Frostpunk 2 comes out. Uh, what are we today? We are the 19th. So that will come out tomorrow. Um, so I will definitely be looking to do some videos on that. But don't worry. I will not forget about this. I will see this through. I'm really, still really enjoying this. Um, so yeah, keep it locked here on the channel. If you're enjoying this, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you all in the next part.